Okay, what we're going to do next is go ahead and add some more lines to the cockpit area. Just exactly the same as we did for the engine and the wing. So uh, I'll give you guys a start here. I'm not going to go forward of this because I'm going to put a couple things up here. Uh, and then just whatever you guys want to do with this cockpit. And once again, I'll show you what I did in just a minute. Okay, I've gone ahead and added some hull panels and lines to the cockpit here. You can see them in blue. So just the same techniques we were using before. I do want to do a couple things here to fix the cockpit. I want to kind of indent this a little bit. or inset it I guess, bring it in then down like that just so we get kind of a sharper cut around the cockpit area okay that's pretty good and then what I want to do next is make a little uh, basically a gun port up here so I'm just going to duplicate these two faces pull them out grab this, grab these back ones and pull them in we'll extrude those on the x-axis like that we'll bevel these a couple times right there and we'll just bevel this once Okay. Make a face, extrude that and scale it, and then extrude that on the Y axis straight back. And we'll delete that. Okay, and then we're going to make another one on the bottom. So we'll duplicate this, we'll scale it. Okay, bring that up in there, then bring these down just a little. I think we turned off clipping before. Yep, we'll turn it back on. Pull that across. Oops. There we go. And maybe we'll bring that across a little bit too. Okay, bevel this one time as well, and same thing, just extrude that on the x-axis so we can get a good face here. which didn't work out hmm. there we go extrude this in okay that's pretty good and then let's go ahead and add a little bit of detail here So what I'd like to do now, I'm going to go here, Shift S, cursor to selection, and we're going to add a, maybe we are, okay, we're going to add a circle, 16 sides, scale that down, okay, go to the side view, we're going to rotate this. We're going to do another RCS thruster uh, cut out here, but we're lucky in this case because it's on a perfectly flat face. So we don't need to be very careful with uh, how we do the geometry on this one. So what I'm going to do is just 
run a couple of loop cuts, one here and one here. And actually, yeah, we may need to bevel that one. Just so I can get something in the middle here. And we'll edge slide that one up. Okay, so we'll get rid of this edge. Okay, let's just go ahead and extrude this in a little bit. And down, get rid of this edge loop. Mark these as sharp. So next we're gonna add uh, a couple of small guns here to the front. Just real simple objects. So we'll add a 16-sided circle. Okay. So we'll grab these vertices, we'll extrude them, scale them a little bit. We'll rip these edges. Oops. Pull this one down. Pull this one up so we don't get perfectly circular guns. Should be good. Bring it back there. Okay, extrude that back and delete that face. Just bevel this one right here. But these should not be sharp. Okay. And then what we're going to do next is just grab this face right here. Well, actually. Let's pull this over. Let's set this cursor to there. And then we'll just say origin to 3D cursor. And so we can add a mirror modifier. There we go. And the reason I did that is because my, my blender is getting kind of slow now when I have all these polygons on screen and I'm also video recording so I'll separate everything last.
and I'm not sure if these are guns, they might be sort of scopes or something. and we'll just leave that there really simple. I uh, will duplicate this, rotate it on the z-axis by 90 degrees because we do want one more thing here we can actually pull that down extrude that on the x, oops, clipping on on the x-axis Okay, that looks good. And let's just grab, well, let's go to the side view here. And we'll grab that vertice, or that vertex, and that one. Okay. We can pull that into there. Get rid of those ends. So you can see those ends are just selected. Bevel those just a little bit. And actually, just so it mates with this nice and smooth. It's a little bit low. Can pull that up there. So one more time we'll duplicate that. Rotate it on the z-axis by 90 degrees. Go back to the front. Scale that down quite a bit. Oops. Okay. So we'll just make another face there. get two of those and let's see do we want anything else I think we do want one more thing let's do maybe something just extending off from this so we'll just pull that off to the side here yeah, maybe out like that. Get 
Get rid of that face. Okay, good. So we'll grab those edges. Bevel those a little bit. Bring that forward. Bring this out. And we'll say scale zero. Remove doubles. And you can see it's real hard to even see this, but I think it'll look pretty good. We may want to bevel these. Okay, that looks pretty good. And we'll just do one more, like a cube here. So we'll just duplicate that. Scale Y zero, scale Z, extrude X. Just pull that back. Don't have a whole lot of room here. Scale that down. Okay, that should be good. And I think we filled up that front sensor cluster pretty nicely there. And I guess I was just going to leave those as air vents, but we could actually put uh, a couple of small cylinders in there. out maybe like that or maybe just yeah right about there Okay, so that's it for the front uh, nose gear right there. Okay, we're coming up to the end of our project here. I do need to add a couple more RCS thrusters in the back, and I'm going to do it a little bit differently this time, so I'll just delete those faces, duplicate that, and this is going to be the same technique that we've used in a, a couple other areas. as far as just beveling to smooth this out. So I'm just going to grab these corners here and bevel those. One more time. And I'm not doing circular cutouts on the back. Okay, get rid of those faces. And 
That looks pretty good. Let's bevel, uh, bevel this. And we'll bevel this edge here. Mark that as sharp. Okay, that's good. So I'm just going to repeat that process down here with these same types of cutouts here. And I'm also going to put cut two circular holes down here on the bottom of the nose, just like I did on the top. So I'll be back to show you guys that in just a second. Okay, so I've gone ahead and done that. I made two more similar cutouts here on the bottom, just like on the top. And then I went ahead and cut these two bottom holes uh, down here. Uh, another thing I did real quick is I just made these holes a little deeper. I just grabbed that face and I just extruded it down a little bit. So now we've got all the cutouts for the RCS thrusters, but we don't have any RCS thrusters, so we're going to make a few. And we're going to use the same design for all of them. Should be really easy, actually. It's not a particularly uh, complex shape. So just bevel those two right there, a little bit, pull that down, okay there you go, that's an RCS thruster. And if we wanted to we could add a little more detail around the edges, but I think that'll work just fine. So let's grab it, and we'll say shift s cursor to selection on that and then origin to 3d cursor and then what I'm going to do is just move this around and put it into all of these RCS thruster uh, holes that we've created so I'll do a couple here for you guys and you could line this up exactly but I think it'll look fine like that. We'll have it sticking out just a little oops. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And it looks like that's not quite Okay. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to stay within that same mesh of the RCS thruster, and I'm going to copy them and move them to uh, all the various holes. So I'll show you guys the final product there in just a second. Okay, I've gone ahead and done that. As you can see, I just copied within that same mesh and moved them uh, to the various locations where we'd made holes for the thrusters. So it just took a bit of uh, duplicating and rotating, but it was pretty easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a modifier, a mirror modifier to that now. And clipping doesn't matter. And that is pretty much the entire model. The only things we just need to do a little cleanup here on the back. As you can see, we got this uh, face kind of ends strangely. So we'll just grab these faces here. Notice this before. We'll just run a cut there. when that happens. Alright, we'll just do this the easy way. We'll 
but we don't really want to remove all the doubles yet. Okay, just bring that in on the y-axis a little bit. And that looks pretty good. And then one thing I wanted to do is just add sort of a, I'm not sure, just a loop cut here on this. Okay. And we'll do this the same way we did all the other ones. Bring that to the edge. It's barely moving. Okay, and then maybe just at the very tip of this as well. Okay. That looks pretty good. So the only thing I'm going to do now, and this is kind of annoying, is I'm just going to find all the different objects like this and the engines and I'm going to join them all together and I'm also going to look for any edges that need to be sharp like these in here that aren't marked as sharp because like I said I don't want to use the uh, angle down there on the edge split modifier when we're done I want it to just be only the edges that are marked so I'm gonna go ahead and do that uh, rather boring process now just look for sharp edges edges that need to be sharp and mark them as sharp and then just go ahead and join all your various objects together Okay, so here we are, and I've gone ahead and combined everything and marked everything as sharp. Uh, one thing I didn't show you guys is you can do select sharp edges, uh, and sometimes that's kind of hit or miss because it will usually find all the sharp edges, but it'll also find some edges that don't seem to have a reason to be sharp. And even after you fix the normals, sometimes they're still there, so it's definitely a good starting point you can use. And of course the best strategy is to just mark edges as sharp as you go along and I'm usually terrible at that so uh, that's the finished product right there. We'll leave the mirror modifier on and the one edge split from the sharp edges um, just to make it more flexible for anybody that wants to use the model. So anyway, uh, that's about it for building this.